The heat, um, based on the intensity, has affected the, uh, the animals in a real um, serious way. In that um, the heat, cows, they can feel the heat long before us. And if we are feeling it to this level, obviously is um, is more pressure on the cows. And when you get cows with the heat um, being unable to cool themselves, they, what they do, they use the energy which they should be producing milk to keep the body temperature down. So obviously it's going to impact your, pro your production. And it has had a tremendous impact on production in that cows. They're not giving that much of milk as they normally would under the, uh, the ideal conditions, even though um, you might use a little um, sprinklers and so, or maybe some fans to cool them a bit. The humidity is so heavy that you know they're, you're unable to get them to the level to where. And, and the thing is the heat is morning and night. So it's a continuous thing right through. So the animals are having a tremendous impact on animals. And obviously um, your earnings is milk. And if you, the cows are not producing, um, obviously you're not earning as you should. And we are under tremendous pressure already in the dairy industry where we, we have all these increases in the price of feed. And so you, even though the cow now is giving less, producing less, the feed, the, the cost of the feed remains the same. So you're, you're losing on volume, but your expenses is, are, are all the same. You know, and, uh, apart from milk to milk production, um, the breeding. Uh, when, again, when this with these temperatures is even more difficult for get cows to conceive. So you know you're, you're losing on getting cows impregn impregnated in a timely manner. So that is because you need to have cows getting in calf all the time to maintain production levels. Because the day that you are not having cows getting pregnant, I mean you're, you're not having production. So you're, you're going down the scale. So you need to get cows bred so that you can maintain levels of production to, to be able to sustain the operation. In terms of the milk production, if you had to give it a percentage, like how much would you say it is down? Um, I would say production down like 15, 20 percent. Because with this heat, you know what I mean? It's, it's not that it's the, the temperature is, is lowering, that giving the cows a breather is a, a, a level of intensity. You know, and so the cows are under stress. The cow is, is very stressful because even though like you will see cows, they go to do, and they're just licking out the water out the pan, just trying to keep themselves cool. So that is, that is uh, even though the water is there, they can drink it, but they're saying, look, pour some on me, you know, that kind of thing. So it, it, it is a fairly high level of, um, I, I have seen a fairly high level of drop in my production. Well, uh, like I say, with this, um, the the intensity, the heat, and the humidity, right? Even that, be, because you need to have the wind blowing, and you're not getting that much of wind to blow to to bring lower the temperatures. So that is the problem. So, you know, um, what it can do, uh, will being able to sprinkle them a bit. And so that would help them in a way and bring it, you know, keep them a little, a little comfortable. But um, it, the heat is so intense that, you know, the impact on the animal is, is really unfortunate. No, well, this is the first time in my life that I've, um, I've seen sun at these kind of temperatures, you know. I mean, and it, it's draining. I mean, as a human, we can sweat. Um, to help to bring down, you keep the body cool. Cows can't do that. So that is part of the problem. So if, um, and I've never seen sun at these kind of temperatures, you know. I mean, like, I, and it, like it drains you, you know, it drains you, you feel after a certain time, you know, like your energy just, psh. so you, humans, we, we can breathe and we can um, think, but with animals who can't, a cow who can't sweat, is a, you, so you don't understand. So you see some of them be just like, you know, when you see a cow with its mouth open and tongue out, you know that's really distressing. That is happening to 
uh, fortunately for me, there's some shade, but um, I, I'm sure the impact would be ha would be a lot greater for uh, cows, like you know, and on the other situation.